In this video, we will walk you through the installation of Feeney Cable Rail Conceal Kits in a Design Rail railing frame. Conceal Kits offer a sleeker, lower profile alternative to our original cable rail kits. Here we have a Design Rail aluminum railing frame in an L-shaped configuration with two termination posts and a single corner post. There is one intermediate post and three pickets to prevent cable deflection. Prior to beginning installation, verify that all parts have arrived and that they match the packing list. Follow the instructions for Design Rail to make sure your frame is secure and thoroughly review the conceal installation instructions. Be sure to consult local building codes for all railing construction requirements in your area. Each cable rail conceal assembly includes a length of 1 8 inch diameter cable with a conceal terminal pre-attached to one end. The kit also includes a conceal receiver and a quick connect conceal fitting. Conceal end caps and decorative bushings are optional accessories. Your order may also include isolation bushings if your project is in a harsh environment. You will need the following tools for your installation. Please note the 532nd inch T-handle hex wrench shown has been specially designed for cable rail conceal installation. First, insert the isolation bushings into the large holes on outside faces of all termination posts. These will allow the fittings to rotate as the cable is tightened without creating friction against the powder-coated hole in the post. Isolation bushings should also be installed on all holes on intermediate and corner posts, as well as any intermediate pickets. Installation of isolation bushings for the inside face of the termination posts will occur in step eight. If you're using optional decorative bushings, insert these into the small holes on the inside post faces of all termination posts. Lace the free end of the cable through termination post A. If you are using decorative bushings, thread one onto the cable before continuing through the intermediate posts and pickets. We recommend using a Feeney cable lacing needle. You may use a curved lacing needle for any single corner posts. Finish by lacing the cable through termination post B. Leave the concealed terminal exposed at one end. Thread the conceal receiver onto the conceal terminal, leaving approximately 3 16 of an inch of threads exposed. For cable runs over 40 feet, leave approximately 1 quarter inch of threads exposed. Push the conceal receiver fully into termination post A. Pull the cable tight through termination post B to remove slack in the cable. Mark the cable on the outside face of termination post B using a felt tip marker. Pull the conceal receiver through termination post A and unthread it from the conceal terminal. Use cable cutters to trim the other end of the cable at the mark made in the previous step. Reinsert the free end of the cable through termination post B, allowing six to eight inches to protrude. Insert the free end of the cable at termination post B as far as it will go into the conceal quick connect fitting. Pull the cable assembly so that the conceal quick connect fitting slides back into termination post B and reinsert the conceal terminal into termination post A. Since the cable was trimmed, the conceal terminal will only insert partway into the post. Continue threading the conceal receiver onto the conceal terminal until the receiver is up against the face of the post. You won't be able to see the fittings as you do this, so be careful to stop if you feel resistance to avoid cross threading. Now repeat steps two through 12 for the rest of the cable rail conceal kits. We are now ready to begin tensioning the cables with the special cable rail conceal tools. Please note the recommended tensioning sequence to help minimize stress on the railing frame and easily adjust uniform tension across all the cables. Start at the center and alternate until all cables are tightened. Insert the conceal star driver tool into a 9 16 inch end on a ratcheting box wrench. Insert the T-handle hex wrench through the hole in the conceal star driver tool and the conceal terminal. Engage the T-handle hex wrench into the mating hex end of the conceal terminal. Then align and fully seat the conceal star driver tool into the star pattern on the conceal receiver. Tension the cable by slowly rotating the ratcheting box wrench clockwise while holding the T-handle hex wrench in a fixed position. After the slack in the cable has been removed by initial tensioning on all cables, swiftly hit each cable line with your palm several times to ensure that the jaws and the quick connect are securely seated. Continue tensioning each cable until the desired tension is reached, but take care to avoid over-tensioning the cables. Once the desired cable tension is reached, the conceal caps can be placed into the conceal terminals and the conceal quick connect fittings. The rubber O-ring on the conceal cap may require lubrication. You may use soapy water. 
If retensioning is required in the future, use the cap removal tool to pry off the cap and repeat the tensioning process. Your railing is complete. Please visit our website or call us if you have any questions. Send in your railing photos for the chance to win cash prizes.